Hello, welcome to downtown. I'm Robbie Haig, and today I am having a talk with Kevin Shanley, who is the executive director of the Spire in Plymouth. Good morning to you, Kevin. Hi, Robbie. Thank you for having me this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> it's great to sit across the table from Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. And we'll, let's give a little synopsis of what's happening at the Spire. And sure. You've been there now for a while. Three and a half years now. Yep. So Very through good. COVID, before COVID, and now post-COVID. So the Spire Center, for those who don't know, is a 265-seat performing arts venue, downtown Plymouth, 25 and a half Court Street, across from the town hall, uh, the old courthouse uh, downtown, and um, purpose-built in 1886 as a Methodist church, uh, then a Jewish synagogue uh, temple, and community center after that, and now it's the home of the Spire Center. So we do about and 125 shows a year there. That's um, pretty good. Yeah, it's a busy, nonstop, bustling all the time. Yeah. So we've been lucky post-COVID coming right back to where we started. And the acoustics in the Spire yeah. are second to none. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, the, the team put a lot of time and a lot of effort into making sure that the space is technically and acoustically uh, superior over you know, some of our other uh, peers in the industry. There's a lot of time and dedication that's put into it, uh, both on the board level, professional staff, uh, our own staff, we're also professionals, uh, yes. volunteers, and, and uh, so we, we've really put together an incredible space um, that is second to none. Very, it's more of a listening room, you know, than kind of that real nightclub kind of vibe or experience. Right, um, right, right. So There's a lot of love in that building. There is. We have a, a true core group of dedicated uh, board members, volunteers, and staff who pour uh, everything they have into the building. So yeah. it's a very rewarding place to, to be a part very of. Very good. And the people who come in to listen are so very complimentary. They are, they are. We, uh, we, we love hearing from everybody. Mm -hmm. We've had numerous sold out shows since COVID coming back. Um, and everybody's so gracious to be back. I'm so happy we were able to make those uh, different safety um, protocol uh, steps put in place mm -hmm. uh, so that folks could enjoy uh, concerts in a, in a safe environment and be able to get back to where we were uh, in 2019, early 2020. Mm -hmm. How long have they been actually doing programs? There? Sure. So, 2014. Uh, okay. So, we're, we are now in our eighth year at the Spire Center. The organization uh, was started uh, a few years prior to that. Um, and the building was purchased by the town of Plymouth through community preservation funds mm -hmm. and has leased it to the Spire Center for Performing Arts and Greater Plymouth Performing Arts Center Incorporated uh, for a 99 year lease uh, wow. at a dollar a year. So that has been Actually. that has been paid off. So we're we're good there. <laughs> but uh, it does have a few stipulations with that dollar a year. Sure, sure. Thanks. So we are responsible for being the stewards of the building, uh, and that is both um, the physical upkeep of the building, outside, inside, ensuring programming is is going year round, uh, and really being that uh, kind of the, the the center point uh, or focus point for uh, the cultural uh, activities uh, and performances downtown. So we take that very seriously. Uh, we've done many updates to the inside of the building and folks that might drive by uh, have seen a lot of work going on, on the outside of the building as well. So we're uh, working with a number of partners both on the uh, public side and on the private sector side to raise and, and internally ourselves to raise funds to bring the outside up to where it needs to be. So we're really looking forward to that. We were all very surprised when some of the siding came down and the beautiful construction under. Yeah. I mean, it's not pretty because it's been covered all these years, but. But you can imagine what it was a, more than 120, 140 years ago wow. almost. Yeah. So it is really incredible to see what the old construction underneath the, the aluminum siding that's up there right now. Yeah. Um, and so we were uh, working, working with a preservationist and they came down and we were able to get some contractors to 
to pull back a couple of pieces of the siding to allow the preservationists to really get a better understanding of what was under there uh, and know how we're going to move forward with our preservation. Mm -hmm. uh, so we like to say on the outside, of our, uh, you know, kind of our messaging outside the building, preservation in progress. Yes. Um, so we're, we're looking a little, um, you know, haphazard as it is right now. Mm -hmm. But and it's encouraging for the future. Uh, and so we have and a couple of really big People do not mind coming in to tell us just how out the outside needs help. <laughs> oh, certainly. Um, but they don't see what's being done on the inside. And I think that that's one of the biggest parts, uh, you know, being in downtown Plymouth for, uh, in our eighth year, um, there's still many people that don't know about the Spire Center. Isn't that and amazing? It is. And I think because it has the outward appearance of, um, you know, a church, and it has the outward appearance, you know, of being uh, a little bit more um, uh, needing some improvement, uh, folks don't understand what goes on inside the building. Right. Uh, and so by uh, us taking this next step to really pulling the outside together is going to be an incredible step to, to really be able to, to redefine what the Spire Center is and what it does on Court Street and Pool. Very good. So all of that being said, uh, there are many of us who know that you are going to be ending your little hitch at the <laughs> Spire Center. We're not happy about leaving, you leaving, but anyway, tell well, us a little about Well, certainly, what's uh, I appreciate you saying that. It's been an incredible three and a half years at the Spire. Uh, during the last number of years, especially during COVID, I've been able to kind of work on some of my other interests. Uh, so I do own a company that does integrated communication uh, services and solutions. Um, so I will be focusing on that full time. So uh, kind of under my, uh, East West Associates name, we have kind of two brands. One that does integrated uh, communications install, so uh, AV solutions, public access um, solutions, um, even here. You know, we've, we've had our hands in a number of things uh, here at this studio as well. Um, municipal projects and conference rooms, uh, kind of you name it on wow. the installed low voltage side, managed networks. Uh, we kind of handle all that for, for folks as well. So we got a lot of really exciting projects kind of in the you works right been now. Busy. Uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff in the municipal sector that we're excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also have an events kind of division or brand uh, really? as well. So we do a lot of event lighting for weddings, for um, we do town meetings for audio and visual support, um, broadcast support for uh, you name it. So we kind of have two different. Uh, brands that we kind of run with, we keep it small, but we, uh, we've been very busy and very thankful for that. Well, that's why I wanted you to come here. I did not know all of these different brands. <laughs> and of course, when we're in other places, we don't have time to talk about things like sure, that. Sure, sure. But uh, it sounds just wonderful. And we've all seen how busy you are, <laughs> flitting from one place to the other. Yep, well, thank you. Yeah, it's been great, um, you know, being able to, to days, you know, most days during the week I'm working and focusing on that with a couple of our, of our uh, employees and, and staff members uh, doing the install work and uh, quoting jobs and all that to then at night and weekends I'm up in Plymouth <laughs> doing, uh, doing shows. Um, and working with a wonderful team there. So if it wasn't for all the folks around me, I never would have been able to get, get as far as I have been this long doing two very full-time jobs, uh, you know, simultaneously. But, um, you know, certainly the, uh, it's, it's come a time that, uh, and I've been very grateful to the board of directors and everybody I've worked with at the Spire Center uh, to allow me to be able to, to kind of do the, the two things that I love in life. and. Uh, now it's time to be able to, to focus, uh, focus on that full time and also be home a little bit as well. Oh, so. sure. <laughs> Cannot forget home. That's Cannot. very true. Very and true. we at the Spire had the great pleasure of seeing the um, really creative and artistic part of you when you get up on that stage. You're a different person, oh, Kevin. Oh, well, thank you. Thank yeah. you. That would be, uh, maybe that's my bachelor's in fine arts degree uh, coming, <laughs> coming to, to light there. On the technical side, wasted. not the acting side, but <laughs> I'll let my parents know. 
<laughs> but it's been fun. I well, think thank you. we might have let your parents know for you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, we're, of course, grateful at the Spire Center for you and your dedication uh, to being a volunteer at the box office. Every single night we have a show, and, and everyone else that's, that's a dedicated volunteer at the Spire Center, we could, cool. could not have that. done it with, without anyone. But it's nice to be in an atmosphere where our presence is known and appreciated. You know, and, and we, we certainly could not have done it, do, do any of these with without the dedicated group of volunteers. So there's, yeah. on, a, on a full sold out night, we have over seven, almost nine volunteers uh, mm -hmm. that are, are working alongside staff and making sure that folks that come to the Spire Center are gonna have an enjoyable and unforgettable evening. And was it a year ago that the elevator was put in? Oh, or more than that, actually. Oh it was actually before I even started. So really? the, the elevator was newly minted uh, uh, basically upon my arrival. So believe it or not, it would have been uh, um, fall uh, of 2018. Wow. Believe wow. it or not. So who, who could imagine, right? So we went from 220 seats on the floor, added an additional uh, 55 seats, if you will, upstairs. So our total capacity um, is uh, 265. And people come in and ask to go up yeah. in the balcony. Yeah, people are really, really excited to be up yeah. there. Um, yeah. You know, when we first looked at that space, we knew that was a plan, right? All along, be able to increase capacity by adding those 45 seats upstairs. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a lot of people who are super excited to go up there. Um, yeah. You know, we've been seeing it recently with folks that come in and just want to go upstairs. Um, it's a totally different uh, experience I, I also add up there um, but people like to be able to kind of be able to look down and, and see mm -hmm. the space and you have your own new you know, dedicated speaker system you know system speakers up there pointing in that direction so yeah. again took the time took the staff uh, you know internally as well as some some outside professionals to come in and make sure that that space is exactly what we expect mm -hmm. at, on any place uh, on the floor so people are getting the same experience no matter where they are. And I do believe you have the same sound people who have been there from the beginning? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we have a number of folks um, who work in our kind of our production or AV department as well. Um, and many of them have been with, the, everyone's been there longer than I have. I am one of the shortest uh, 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 tenures at the Spire Center, which really is a testament to the community that, that is present at the Spire. Very good. And same thing with many of the volunteers. Uh, you know, you started from day one yeah. and are still there, so yeah. it's important and it's special. It's interesting. And so you won't be in Plymouth at all in your next step. Am I correct? Are you going to be working on yeah, the Cape? Yeah, so, so the, uh, our shop is located down here on the Cape, okay. um, so it's over in Pocasset. And we, uh, and I still live in Sandwich, but we have a number of clients that are up in, in Plymouth. We have a few clients that are right on Court Street as well, believe it or not. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. so looking forward to getting back, uh, you know, and seeing the space and the way that I've been saying it at, at the Spire and, you know, it's, we're not going to be strangers, you know, I'll still be accessible and um, all that. So I want to make sure that uh, we, have a, we have a great transition plan in place. We have a new executive director uh, who will be starting in uh, this month in June, um, and we are excited to be able to, to keep things rolling and you know, no bumps in the road. Uh, so the board was able to, to bring somebody on and, and we're looking forward to, to work, I'm looking forward to working with them for the next few, few weeks to ensure a seamless transition. Very good. Yeah. You certainly left your mark on the spire. Kevin. Well, I appreciate you saying <laughs> that and uh, you know, certainly everybody uh, you know, comes through and has their, their little things that they say, mm -hmm. and uh, it certainly doesn't make it any oh, yeah. easier to leave. I'm sure it doesn't, but that's the way it should be, <laughs> isn't it? If we, said, if we didn't let you know we wanted you there, yeah. that would be a total other feeling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I greatly appreciate you saying that, and, um, you know, it's been a really rewarding um, you know, time at the Spire mm -hmm. Center and been great. I'm grateful to the board directors for, for having me as part of the, the organization and looking forward to, um, you know, I feel proud of what we've done in Excellent. those years and uh, mm -hmm. really looking forward to seeing the, the, the community that is the Spire Center continue to thrive. 
and each job is a stepping stone. You learn, you move on, and I'm sure you're, you're going to do a wonderful job in your own business. Well, thank you. It certainly is as uh, kicked off really, really strong. Uh, you know, basically got a, a, a big push at COVID, you know, when we closed in 2020 and everything shifted online. That was one of our biggest, you know, our, our kind of our three main sectors that we work in is houses of worship, uh, municipalities, and nonprofits. Mm -hmm. And everyone still needed to achieve their mission. And churches had to have, you know, every, every week they had to have their, their service um, out there for mm -hmm. accessible to people. And mm -hmm. so we were very lucky and fortunate that we have a number of clients. We have most of the Episcopal churches on Cape Cod, some of the larger uh, congregations on Cape Cod, and the smaller ones. That's and very interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I, you don't think of the churches as needing the sound. Yeah. So we did a lot of bro uh, installed broadcast systems inside uh -huh. a lot of churches on Cape Cod. Um, and so uh, very uh, professional equipment that's in a lot of these these churches and they were able to, to um, you know, their congregation knew how important it was and, um, you know, committees within the church groups really wanted to make sure that they could continue to get their, their word out. You know, so we have full broadcast style solutions oh. similar to what you'd find in a, a community access station or, or larger in many of these churches. So, Very interesting. you know, PTZ cameras and switching equipment, wow. top line audio gear, so all integrated seamlessly. Uh, so and we like to say a push-button solution, so. COVID wasn't all bad, was it? Uh, certainly uh, on the business side for, for me and my purse, you know, on, on my personal business side, it, uh, it certainly was uh, a nice uh, boost for business just by mm -hmm. necessity. And, um, you know, but then on the other side, the Spire Center was closed for two years. Yes. Uh, almost. So yes. it was, you know, it's kind of an odd juxtaposition. But, um, yes, the, the 2020 and well, really, 2021 was our our, our busiest year as a organ as a company, mm -hmm. um, and on track to continue that this year. So, well, on behalf of the people at the Spire, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you. I'm so glad to be part of what was going on there. Good. I hope and it will continue. It, I'm sure it will. <laughs> Good. And I wish you well. Thank you, Robbie. And you know, don't be a stranger. Oh, I won't be. Don't you worry. Very good. And to all of you out there, uh, I urge you to congratulate Kevin on his move forward. And uh, there's never too much family in, in doing something new and different. That's true. That's very true. Very good. And thank you out there for watching downtown. And we hope to see you again real soon. Thank you, Mr. Kevin. Thank you, Robbie. Appreciate that. That was great. Very good. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers to you.